what we think, Atari controller, maybe? Huh, two buttons on the side? No, this is an NES controller. What? What? Crazy. Yeah, we'll talk about that some other time, but today, trophies, achievements, gamer score, what does it all mean? I never really put a lot of stake, medium rare, into those aspects of next-gen gaming. Never really made sense to me. But lately I've been getting into this habit of trying to get all the trophies and achievements for a game instead of just playing it. Oh sweet, The Last of Us! This is gonna be great! I wonder if there are any missable trophies. Just look that up. When did gaming become such a pat-on-the-back experience? Mm, good job. You got it. Mmm, you did it. Good for you. Nailed it, buddy. And it's gotten that way even with simple things. You've inserted the game disc. You've earned the slot master achievement. You paused the game. You've earned the take a breath achievement. Awesome. It's wild though because some games actually do reward you for calibrating the system or setting up the controls. I've been wondering. I've been, this is how I wonder. I, I wonder about things and I wonder about why I don't have a beard. But seriously, I've been wondering if gaming has always been like that. I mean, in the older eras of gaming, there was no total overall gamer score or trophy level. <laughs> like Contra, you were good because you would play it in front of your friends and you would beat it. And they'd be like, whoa, how'd you do that? When prior to that, you spent hours and days and weeks mastering all the levels and just figuring the heck out of the game. Memorization. The wave of old school gaming. Because old school games punished the turds right out of you. <laughs> and that is a weird <laughs> mental image. Now for my personal gamer memory, I think back to the Virtual Boy. For some reason, my family bought into the hype. And we bought one. When I was younger, I actually kind of liked it. And the games I spent the most time playing were Mario Clash and Tellero Boxer. Mario Clash was just like... Endless levels and stages of the same thing over and over and over again. Puzzle after puzzle after puzzle. Getting all jigsawy. Well, it's not actually, it's not like a puzzle game. It's like a, it's almost like a new interpretation of the original Mario Bros. game. The arcade one. Off track. Let's get, let's reel it back in. With Mario Clash, I was determined to beat all the levels. And eventually I did. Because I was a crazy, lonely child. Mmm. But with Teller Boxer, I never beat it as a kid. I couldn't pull it off, and I spent hours and hours and hours playing that game, straining my eyes, probably to an unhealthy level. I wonder if that's why I wear glasses. Because I did not wear them as a kid. Holy crap, the rumors were true. Virtual Boy kills your eyes! Nah, that's, nah, that's stupid. On topic, hours in, I just couldn't figure out all of the boss's moves and how to master their different quirks and things so that I could get to the final boss. And on my original cartridge of Teller Boxer, I still have my old save file. Four wins, 87 losses. Ayo, champ! Ooh, <laughs> and I wasn't trying to beat it because I would get some sort of sticker reward and it's not like I was doing it for bragging rights because no one I knew had a Virtual Boy. No one I knew. They were probably smarter than me for not having one. Hey, for the Tellerobacter, for the Virtual Boy, yeah. Beat the final boss without losing a single match. What's a Virtual Boy? Oh yeah. So what changed? Do we need, like, Digital high fives to keep playing the game? Is that some kind of motivation? I mean, what do you think of all these built-in gamer rewards in modern games? Should we strive to be the elite gamer? Yeah, don't worry, I'll never do that again. Or do we just sit our butts down and play video games? The answer is yes. Let's, yes. Just do, there you go. Don't even need to answer that one. Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The hype was there, and I was getting hyped. Oh, so hyped as I wanted that Super Nintendo. I wanted it so bad, so bad. <laughs> this habit, but <sighs> got hold that thought. <laughs> got a sneeze coming. I think we're good. 
Oh, nope. Yep. <laughs> nope, we're good. No allergies. Nope. This is real life happening right now. This is real life. Ah! <coughs> <sighs> <sighs> Achievement awarded! Sneezy face! Sneeze causes a minus two to my armor class.